Hey everyone, last week we went over social learning theory and observational learning. Today we'll look at the cognitive constructivist learning theory. Cognitive constructivism differs from other learning theories on the fact that it recognizes that our brain symbolically stores data. This theory focuses on what's going on inside the learner's head, versus the other theories that focus solely on behavior. To further understand this theory, I need to explain what a schema is. Schemata are mental representations of real-world things. So when I say chair, something comes to your mind. But it probably isn't a specific chair, more like a fuzzy abstraction of what a chair is. A chair could mean an armchair, a bar stool, and a myriad of other things. But the word chair brings about a mental representation in the mind that is specific to you and your experience. One of the founders of this theory, Jean Piaget, suggests that we learn by testing our previous models and theories of the world. So when a kid hears chair, they may have a schema that suggests that a chair is just anything that you can sit on. They might look at a stepping stool and call it a chair, or a child might call both a salmon and a whale a fish. How might the child differentiate between the two? Piaget suggested that there is an underlying force that moves development along. This force is known as equilibration. There are times when placing a new object in an existing schema works fine. If you call a trout and a salmon both fish, it normally isn't a problem. This is called assimilation, when you use an existing schema to deal with a new object. However, sometimes a new situation or object won't work with an existing schemata. This is where that equilibration force comes in. Piaget suggests that an unpleasant state of disequilibrium occurs when new information doesn't fit with an old schemata. Usually to reach equilibrium, you'll readjust your schema to something new. This is accommodation. So a child may call a giraffe doggy because they both have four legs. However, eventually she will learn to create separate schemata for both giraffes and dogs. Interestingly enough, this happens with prejudice as well. So someone may have grown up with a stereotype schema towards another cultural group, and then that same person may be in an environment that encourages real interactions between them. This leads to cognitive dissonance between what the previous schema represented and the reality that this person is actually faced with. This leads the person to reevaluate and readjust their schema. I feel like I should emphasize that everything I've talked about so far happens in every developmental stage. Piaget's focus was children, however his theory generalizes to adults. I'm not going to go into Piaget's stages due to some controversy. Some psychologists view his stages as unnecessary and development as continuous. Some question his methods of research, and others question whether the stages could be generalized to non-Western populations. Piaget's constructivist theory suggests several ways to go about learning. One is discovery. So trial and error actually help us test out our pre-existing theories. Another way is to build off of pre-existing schemata. So this is why our current educational system goes from basic math first and builds up to things like calculus. In the real world, building upon previous knowledge not only helps you understand the new knowledge, but also can alter the meaning of the new knowledge, giving rise to new information altogether. The last aspect is that we need to come into contact with others. Our existing schema get challenged only when we are with others that have different schemata. One person may have a psychological background and another in neuroscience. If they interact, it's likely that both will leave with a different understanding than they had prior. So today, I went over Piaget's cognitive constructivist theory of learning. I covered assimilation, accommodation, equilibration, schemata, as well as a few ways to apply his theory. Thank you all for watching, and do me a favor and have a good day.